Hi, welcome to Casa Grace. We really love this place. We're just really disappointed that we need to sell it. Our daughter's moving away from this property and we have to get rid of it. Thank you. Casa Grace is equipped with two nine gallon propane tanks. Uh, they lasted us for an entire year with, with off and on usage to heat hot water. It has a full regular mobile home style chassis and trailer hitch and you can see here on the back also has a high-end Mitsubishi split and the venting from the bathroom an extra air vent to add air to the bathroom venting for the hot water heater and venting for the separate toilet it's set up currently with a gray water system uh, and uh, ha also has a um, grease trap and gray water system which drains off into a drain field. On the back you'll see there is the electrical panel, electrical panels and there's also a video feed, has wired in video in the bedroom and in the main room. And it also has uh, the extra for video. It has standard water RV water hookup and RV uh, style sewage drain and also a 50 amp circuit and a standard very long pigtail to an RV, regular RV connection, power connection. The siding is heavy gauge metal, corrugated metal, and it will eventually rust out to be a rust color the entire length. This is the back of the tiny home. It's the back side of the living room. You can see the clear story windows go all the way across the top above the bedroom. And that is the bathroom window. This is the front of Casa Grace, as we call it. You'll see it has an awning which can be removed for for relocating the tiny home and an outdoor light fixture which also needs to be removed in order to maintain the eight and a half foot width. The deck is possible to, to be included. You would need to dismantle it obviously and take it in pieces. It's a full cedar deck. This is the front of the tiny home. This is the other end from the trailer hitch. It has a bay window that overhangs, adds a couple of extra feet to the length. The trailer itself is 28 feet in length. The trailer is a standard mobile home style chassis and trailer. It has triple axles with electric brakes. The wheels are removable and have been removed for blocking and stabilization. The front entrance to the tiny home comes in right into the kitchen end of the living room. Switches are controlled there for most of the lighting inside the tiny home. To the right is the bedroom and bathroom. Here is the kitchen. There's plenty of storage above the counters since the ceiling is vaulted. The microwave cubby is actually large enough for a larger uh, toaster oven, convection oven, slash microwave. It has a full, a full uh, heavy circuit for that. It has an exhaust fan that goes to the outside with a light. The stove is a two burner propane stove. It has a large burner in the back and a smaller burner in the front. Super efficient and powerful. We found the wood cutting board on top to be handy for extra counter space and to cover that. The refrigerator is under counter, but it is a large under counter refrigerator. It goes, it's very deep and has lots of capacity. Three drawers and the cupboard under the sink has room for a lot of other things. We've also added a small storage shelf to the left of the refrigerator. Carbon monoxide detector. The rest of the living room 
is mostly all windows. When you're inside, you feel like you're outside. All of the windows open and have screens, including the bottom windows. The only windows that do not open are the windows at the end of the bay window. They are fixed. There's the mini split. The small windows up, up in the corners do not open either. Included in the price are the two recliners. Very comfortable. We have included a small drop leaf table, which we'll take with us, but uh, it does have room for a nice table. The floors are, the floors are vinyl plank. Coming into the bedroom, it's a queen size foam mattress, which is included. Underneath the bed, there are storage drawers on both sides. There are cupboards on each side of the bed, three drawers on the bottom, a nice uh, marble top on the nightstand with space and a plug and charging station there. And both sides of the bed have a closet that have hanging space and storage space above. <clears throat> nice headboard and reading lamps in the bedroom. The bedroom is divided from the living room by a barn door. <clears throat> in the bathroom is divided from the bedroom by a pocket door, which slides in on the toilet side. It's equipped right now with a separate toilet, which is composting toilet and creates gray water, but it also has the plumbing and the connections, water connections and that sort of thing for a regular flush toilet. Here's the sink. It has a marble top. The mirror is lit and heated so it doesn't fog up. There's a little marble shelf above the shower. Good ventilation, quiet ventilation fan, nice windows above the shower and behind me above the toilet that open. Nice big shower. It's a four foot by three foot shower. The hot water is heated by a large capacity, high capacity, water heater, Energy Star. Nice linen cupboard above the water heater and more storage up above also. Turning around, coming back out, you can see the bedroom and walking along towards the living room. And that is Casa Grace, a light, airy, beautiful little tiny home that we have loved dearly.